A Border Patrol agent behind bars on a bond of over $2 million tonight. Juan David Ortiz is now accused in the deaths of four people while trying to kidnap another in Laredo. The night team's Jaffney Gray went to Laredo today and spoke with several people who lived in that agent's neighborhood. I mean, like this, that's the last person you would think that would harm you. To know that someone uh, that is living right in front of you, right across from you, you know, would be committing such horrible crimes, unimaginable. Sierra Lopez says she was shocked to learn that her neighbor, Border Patrol agent Juan David Ortiz, is who authorities have labeled a serial killer. Ortiz is facing several charges after one of his victims who escaped at this gas station ran right to a Texas trooper who happened to be refueling his vehicle. The manager says she saw it all on surveillance video, which is now part of police evidence. I came to check the video and we saw where the girl came up running from behind the store. She says though she is happy the woman escaped, it scared her. A lot of things came to mind. I have daughters that can be put into that situation and a lot of bad things came to mind. Ortiz is being charged for picking four victims up and shooting them in the head. Lopez says Ortiz seemed like your average neighbor, but learning he was connected to the deaths of three women and a transgendered person has made her more aware. Staying out after certain times or after getting dark, you know that that's completely a big no-no. I mean, even close friends, sometimes you don't even know, you know, who they are behind closed doors. But more importantly, she says she feels safer and that she is grateful for the fast actions of law enforcement. A couple rotten apples cannot define, you know, our federal law enforcement. Uh, they do a lot more good than they do harm to our country and the society. Japhne Gray, KSAT 12 News. Ortiz is now facing four counts of murder, one count of aggravated assault, and one count of unlawful restraint. The Webb County Sheriff's Office is expected to hold a press conference about the incident tomorrow afternoon at 2.